Hey guys, Lucky Cap Gaming here. Welcome back to Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I'm hoping that's the last time I'm gonna have to see that boot up. Because, uh, yeah, if all things go well, hopefully it's the final time I have to sit down to record the uh, main story for Bakugan Battle Brawlers. This will be nice. This will be nice. Welcome to the UBT. Challengers here are the best of the best, so be sure to have a strong deck. Alright, well, before we head on down to the park, I'd like to check out the store. I do believe we have quite a bit of money on standby. Yes, <laughs> we have over 100,000. Okay, so, let me think. Going in, we're gonna need good chaos setup. So, I think I'm gonna check these cards over one more time to see if there's a good gap I can get. And I'm looking here and uh, there's 40, 40, 40. <laughs> negative. Negative. Right. Oh, we got some new cards as well. Oh boy. We got some real darkest focus cards here. Black hole. Whirlpool. And then we have some cards that are still hidden. Yeah, a lot of a lot of darkest support. Haunted Knight, we're gonna be seeing this one quite a lot. 200 G power for Darkest. That's pretty crazy. And Volcanic Lake. If you're using Pyrus or Aquas, this is that this is perfect for you. Like, absolutely pick this up. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good. I'm gonna inspect the copper, although, to be honest, I think I've kind of settled on my copper card of choice. Do you have any new stuff? And the G power swap, that's. I mean, that's pretty good. I definitely can't deny that. That is a. Uh, Really nice card to have. I just think that the uh, one card that we got for uh, having the G power of an opponent as soon as they stand, that's going to be really nice. But, yeah, we got Ventus, Pyrus, least game cards, Aquas, Chaos, that's real nice. But, yeah, I think... Even then, looking at the difference, yeah, I think the benefit we're going to get later on from having that having card, that's going to be really nice. Akugan who stood on this card first gets 200g power. That's not bad, but not going to be good for my game plan. Highest printed G power has a G power boost on them. That's got potential, but difficult potential. And Mega Warrior. This one, uh, I think we're going to be seeing this one a little bit. Where we're going, but. Uh, that's all the Copper Gate cards available for now. Gold Gate cards, we don't really need to look at that. Leonidas, pretty much. Unless you want to run uh, Reaper or Laser Man. Or, <laughs> heck, any card that you're, for a back gun you're running on your team. I just kind of shoved my hand though, and yes, I'm going to be running Reaper Laser Man. That just gets a plus 150G, destroy the battle item. Kind of useless. Spark out. I'll pick this up. Thanks for shopping. Now, we could just get Shining Nova. That would be nice, but I think that's one of the last ones we unlock. Yeah, we're not getting Shining, Shining Nova until after Green, I mean, Leonidas boost. That's simple enough. You got the combo cards available, but where we're going, it's not going to be that much of a help. I mean, we have the wheel. That's pretty much the best card, so. 
really don't need to worry about looking at any of those. I can look up uh, upgrades real quick. So Leonidas is at max. This is what we're going in with. Not bad. Not bad. We have uh, capped defense and endurance. That's pretty good. So, yeah, and thinking about running Laser Man and Reaper. Those are going to be my two, uh, two key back again. Not really planning on having Reaper do much as far as, like, rolling around. Or, like, sphere attacks. I don't have plans for sphere attacks, so I might just go for acceleration. That could be useful because a little insight for the that arena that we're going to be complete. entering. The Chaos Arena has a lot of friction. I don't that understand why necessarily. Uh, I would personally think it would be like slippery or something. But yeah, it's like a it's like a carpet. Um, I could boost. Yeah, I could boost G Power twice. Bakugan upgrade is complete. Bakugan upgrade is complete. And I do also want to look at Laser Man real quick. Maybe boost. Plus five. Bakugan upgrade is complete. I can also bump up your jump. Bakugan upgrade. Yeah, is already complete. we pretty much. Uh, capped all the... And we're basically at Reaper levels with this guy now. So... I guess I can boost G-Power more. Bakugan upgrade is complete! Bakugan upgrade is complete! There's not really anything we're gonna need jump for, from what I know of, so... You know what? I don't know why I'd have to sphere attack with this guy, but I might as well just boost speed. Bakugan upgrade is complete. And I can buff Reapers. Uh... Meh, might as well. Might as well. Bakugan upgrade is complete. There. And Leonidas being at a like a five at the end instead of a actual flat number. It's actually... That's actually surprisingly possible. I've seen that before on a Bakugan I saw on eBay. It was, uh... What was it? It was... Pyrus Wired. And I had, like, 555 G power. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. This much I could afford a Guardian. Interesting that Laserman costs the same amount as Skyrus, but yeah. I'm just gonna go Harpus because I don't own Thanks for shopping. the Harpus Bakugan, but I honestly think Harpus is a really cool Bakugan. I've considered multiple times getting like several Harpus Bakugan, maybe even making like a full like team of Harpus and uh, Pyrus. Thanks Gardens. for shopping. Sure. I mean, really, after we're done with this, uh, like, buying some cards? this Thank you for is pretty much going to be my final team. The combination of what should I... I should edit my uh, Leonidas, Reaper, and Laserman, th this is my squad. I would like to say Pyrus Monoris and Darkest Siege, you guys were really nice having. Uh, actually, I was pretty impressed by them. I... I mean, I don't know. I feel like out of all the Bakugan we've used for, like, tournament-specific reasons, that those two I just really liked. Maybe it was just because I was running a team with all different attributes. I don't know. But it felt pretty cool. I can get why Klaus... It, Klaus... <laughs> Is kind of into it. There's Laserman. Got this. Now, just gotta set 
the proper deck. Oh shoot. Wait, do I not have that card? Really? Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to <laughs> work up a little bit. So I think the biggest gap I can get is 60. Okay, but I'm just gonna run, uh, yeah, I'll run Sunrise for this tournament. Call back to the Sunrise Shell. What copper card am I gonna use? I guess I could use Quick Strike. It's. Eh. Other than Sub Terror, it's pretty much fine to use. As long as I stand first, I'm getting a decent bonus anyhow. Finally run Spark Out. Run the Alpha Blaster card. Run Fortune. Yeah, I, I have to work on getting that uh, one card. I could have sworn I had it, but... Let me check the shop real quick, because... What? I mean, I have it on my uh, PS2 file. I've been using to collect data, Hi. so Hi. I don't have that card. Though. Here it is, three thousand. Okay, well I got some battles to do, so ah, maybe by the time we do those park battles, it'll be uh, nice and wrapped up. It doesn't matter what Marduk and Masquerade are plotting, Drago and I will kick their butts! Do you want a battle? I've been practicing, so it won't be easy. If you win, I'd be happy to give you lots of Bakugan points. You look strong, but I don't feel like losing. Let's win! Did he not have a quote for Dan? Guess not. Okay. Hey! One on. Well. I know this is going to be the debut battle of this team, but they don't quite have the card yet, and, uh, you know, I still gotta, I still gotta get some money for that. And just consider this, uh, practice runs that I'm going to do off camera. Alright, new items available in the store. We just beat Dan, so, you know what that means. There are new Bakugan in stock. We've got new cards in stock. You should see if there's anything you want. All right. Hi. Ah. Check the pirate section, and what do we got? Drago is now for sale. Twenty thousand points. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So now we can buy Dragonoid. However, I'm not interested in buying Drago right now. I can't even afford to do that, quite frankly. I am interested in buying. Power Drain. The back we understand this card first loses half its printed G power. God, I love this. Thanks for shopping. Yes, here's the thing. Okay. You might not have full control of standing on your card first. Something might happen where, like, say the opponent uses Mirror or something like that. But, uh, yeah, if you screw up your roll, then your opponent might get that bonus that you thought you had fed. Pretty you. much, you can guarantee that you don't stand on a card first. Now, you have to make sure that the opponent doesn't double stand if they stand first, but as long as you're, like, quick about it, you could pretty much get there. Pretty. But, yeah. Let me just uh, go organize my deck. What? Sh I should. And with that, we're gonna be ready to roll. Edit. Go to my copper gate card. Swap quick strike for power drain. Nice set we got here. It's 
Lucio for our guest. Head on into the tournament area and get ready for cutscene. We have to beat Marduk and Vladator. Yeah. Whichever one of us makes it to the end of the tournament has to take them down. Don't worry. Tigrera has evolved. There's no way me and her are gonna lose. Gorm's evolved too. We're talking awesome! All right, let's do this. It's go time. Babylon, roll! Now, I am pretty Let's sure that play. song that was used was match. from the anime, it's so, the Mrs. Obama, it's I been an honor. <laughs> I, I should save my but, uh, Find yeah, it. that song, I'm pretty sure, is the song that's used in the outro of the show. But, yeah, our first opponent, Marusho, running Preus, Preus to Diablo, and Siege. So, yeah, Preus to Diablo is, uh... Bit of an interesting bag to go on. Simply My, because I, it's kind of... <laughs> uh, to I quote Preus, I believe he said something along the lines of, it's like two Bakugan for the price of one. Except if you check eBay, it, getting both of them is most certainly not two Bakugan for the price of one. Simply... Uh, so, what he means by that game. is that... It, it... You see, it's weird that we're starting on Marucho, because... He kind of has the weirdest evolution. Well, Preus has the weirdest evolution of all the Guardian Bakugan from the main cast. In that it creates a new Bakugan rather than changing the form of the base Bakugan. I'm going to get discuss it more during the battle, but let's take a look at that. Wow! <laughs> okay, that's pretty nice. The glow... Ooh, the reflective surface. It, it kind of cuts out in spots. But... Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, man. I'm just taking it in. This is nice. Ooh, the, the prisms and everything. Oh. Oh, man, this is nice. Alright. Well, before I get to talking about Preus, I'm going to talk about Preus. So, Preus has a 4 in speed, 2 in defense, 5 in acceleration, 5 in endurance, and 2 in jump. Also a 400G power is Preus 2 Diablo. Um, let me think. Okay. I better set a Leonidas gate real quick. Yeah, this is Preus 2 Diablo has 4 in speed, 2 in defense, 5 in... Oh wait, no, 5 in acceleration, 5 in endurance, 4 in jump. If I said it wrong for Preus, then just know that's supposed to go in that order for the stats. I got the numbers right, but just uh, might have mixed up the words. Uh, of course. Oh, we're gonna hop over here and take the Tigrera shot. So you get spit out of the mouth. Not it doesn't even properly launch you, it just kinda teleports you up here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, operating up there is weird compared to the PS2 version. At least in that version you can kinda just glide around, but uh yeah. Oh, oh no, this is not choreographed properly compared to the PS2 version. The physics are absolutely different. And also there's a flash bang effect. I noticed this going on in some other people's footage. Uh, that does not happen on PS2, so I apologize for that. Oh yeah, oh that is disgusting. Oh, who okayed that? Who? Literally. Oh! Oh! 
The beast is demonic in nature. Like, I'm trying to hold back so I can get the, all the boost, but... Oh. Oh, God. Okay, so you have to hit, like, the tip. Oh, and don't stand on the platform. That will kill all your momentum. Oh, God. Can I just... Oh, okay. Can I, can I just stand, please? All right, it's gotta be this one. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Wow. Okay, four in speed, two in defense, five in acceleration, five in endurance, four in jump, and 460G power for Price 2 Diablo. And Merge of Siege, five in speed, five in defense, four in acceleration, two in... Yeah. Two in endurance, three in jump, and 340G power. These cards are Dark Void Ground... Ground Shutdown. That's what it says. And Subterra and Aquas combo. Or maybe Aquas and Subterra combo. You can really tell because I couldn't get that card to show up in my game. Simply because it's not chaos and, you know, I didn't really have a good way to get him to show it. And he just did not want to show his card. <laughs> so I actually had to go on YouTube and check out some other Bakugan YouTubers to see if they got the card to show up. Lo and behold, a YouTuber by the name of The Twelfth Kind was able to get it to show. So, I appreciate him for getting that. Well, not really for me. It, it's just kind of coincidental. But... Yeah, so I appreciate him. And for gate cards... The gates are... Okay. These gates are... Stand Your Ground, Whirlpool, and Preuses. Not Preus, like the usual we yes, seen, but Preuses, as in possessive, for some reason. Instead of ES, it shows apostrophe S. But, yeah, basically that's going to be... Praise to Diablo and Praise to Angelo's card. Oh my god, I hate that effect. Who thought that was a good idea? Like, seriously, they just added some of the most annoying things in the Xbox version. And I guess all the HD versions then, because they have the confusion card and they have the motion blur on this arena. I mean, I think I understand what it's coming from. It's Tigrera's roar, but. That is just such a bad effect. They really should not put that in here. I'm scared by how the ramps are going to work. Okay, decent enough. Not much momentum, but... Okay, okay, the, the launch was good. Oh my goodness! That is... Oh, that's pain. That is... That is literal pain. And I missed uh, go back. There. I mean, I guess it at least gets you up the slope, unlike the PS2 version. Yeah, the PS2 version just had so much friction, and I don't know why. Okay. I have to, like, rewire how my brain processes this. Alright, so I gotta stand on his part, otherwise I'm getting a penalty. Bakugan, stand. And... Stand. I think Stand Your Ground just was a use of all ability cards, so that'll be an interesting battle. I'll skip this so you guys don't have to see the motion. Oh no, no. Part of my curiosity wants to see him roll with, like, Unreal. the random blur effect, Player but... I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want you guys to see that. That is, oh, ooh, I negated it. So yeah, oh yeah, I said I was going to talk about how their evolution worked. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to describe the scene exactly, 
All I can say is that the Bakugan popped out of Kreis in a manner that was kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not gonna move to see what happens. Oh, the arc is actually right. Oh, okay, I don't know why it feels the need to send me a mile a minute. Oh, oh no, oh god, oh god. <laughs> that was close, that was close. Okay, we're good. We are good. And now, oh my good grief. Holy. Yeah, like, notice how the background just stops rolling. But, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm done I'm done taking this background for a water ride. I gotta find the gate part. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, this is Um, yeah. Bakugan, stand! Stand! I just had to process this. <laughs> the whole motion blur thing going on isn't helping. But, yeah. So, Kreis 2 popped out of Kreis. Unreal. <laughs> and uh, by doing that, that well, Kreis 2 was born. That's the best way to describe it. Price 2 was born. And, uh... Yeah. Price 2 came out. And... Honestly, I think I'm just gonna double stand. I'm trying to get a battle out of him, but I just don't think it's... Double stand. Let's, uh, take the card. You won't beat me! Oh, battery's running low. That's a shock. Um, okay, I should have the charger over here. It'll just be a second. Hopefully not too late. Where is it? Uh, it is. So... Just roll. I am gonna try and get this plugged in so I don't lose everything. Stand. Stand. Safe. Player wants to. Hey, perfect timing. Um, where's Maru? Oh, he had stealth on, didn't he? Oh shoot. I mean, if I wanted to cheat, I could just go back and rewatch the footage. <laughs> But, I mean, we got one battle in at least. It wasn't even against his guardian, though, so I don't know how to feel about that. But, I don't even know if he sent out Preus or Preus 2. So, I think I'm just going to go for the double stand. Bakugan, brawl! Bakugan, stand! Double stand! Take the card. You won't beat me. That's my skills talking. I guess a uh, part of the reason. Oh, achievement! Best of the best. Uh, that must have been for doing uh, 50 one-on-one -on -one battles. In story mode, if I had to guess. Yeah. Next up is Julie. My next and if I want, I could step out into the park real quick and fight Marucho. You can now face Marucho, I believe, just to show you. Yeah. New opponent is available in the park. It's gonna be Marucho. And he's running his... Well, he's gonna be running his Let's evolved Bakugan. I wanna win again in the next match. So... It's almost, it's almost you, time you are able game. to get these, uh, new... Evolve back gone before you finish the tournament. So if you want to stop the tournament whenever to hop out and grab them real quick, you could do that. I'll probably do that in between episodes. Although I will show you the dialogue because each brawler does have unique dialogue for saying that their back gone has evolved. So I'll show you that 
Otherwise, I think we're ready to just uh, move on, face our next opponent, who is Yuli. So, it's almost time. Let's go ahead and get started. While the battle loads, I am going to pull up the data. Okay, data pulled up. Now, honestly, I'm kind of curious where I could put all this, this information because I, because they kind of feel like a Serapy.net thing where like they have all of the, uh, they have all the stuff registered and like what Pokemon each trainer has, what items, and even moves. That amazes me that they're able to list like the moves of each Pokemon because that seems like a nightmare to try and get to work. Like, the best way I could imagine to get a Pokemon to show what move it can use is by, like, using the Sable to shut down one of the moves, or, like, either that, or you're just gonna have to stall it out the entire time just to see what moves it's capable of using until it starts using Struggle. Which, that sounds ungodly. Like... Oh. I know that's probably not what they do. They probably just hack the code to like figure out, okay, what are you what can you do? Pretty much. And of course, there's like other abilities that could help with that too, I guess. Like uh there's there's that one ability that allows you to see what held item the Pokemon has. And then I guess there's also a move that allows you to swap abilities with a target. So that's one way you could check what a Pokemon's ability is. There's also the move Mummy, which will change a Pokemon's ability to another, to the ability Mummy. So while it's changing that ability, And straight over that launcher. I, I swear it's choreographed better on the PS2 version. This is ungodly. Ooh, that was... Ooh, that was a good shot. Now, also, don't try... Don't try going on that launcher on the right, because even on the PS2 version, that thing is bugged. The AI has no clue how to handle that thing. They just try to roll on it. I, I sat down and waited like 10 turns consecutively, just trying to get data on these Bakugan. Bakugan when the opponent just does not want to try and actually stand. Uh, and they just keep sending their Bakugan off into the abyss. It's the most annoying thing, and we're probably going to see that at least once in this tournament. But, yeah, let me just read off Julie's stats. Her Hammer Gorum has 5 in speed, 5 in defense, 4 in acceleration, 5 in endurance, and 1 in jump with 510g power. We're gonna see that a lot, that the Guardian background has 510G power. Anyhow, gate opens, Leonite escapes. Yeah, this is... I'm not even sure if she's gonna use ability cards. She's ready. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think she even can use ability. No, no, no. She can. She has a blue ability card she can use. Um, oh, and of course she also could have used the, uh, uh, Dark Void, I think it is. Or is it Black Hole? Can't recall right now, and I have it written down. Unfortunately, I can't check right now, because I am shooting. Let's see. Dark Void! Yeah, Dark Void. Same as the Pokemon movie. Dark Void. <laughs> yes, I won! But... Yeah, that's her Hammer Gorum. 
And next up, Julie's Terror Claw, which we just fought. As you saw, it had 300, 330 G power. Pardon me. Um, I guess I could set down Sunrise. I'll just uh, send you right along. I'll go um, laser man. Bakugan brawl. Right in the portal. And yeah, her terror claw. Let me get a sec. Whoa! Okay, okay, slow it down. Ah, oh, shoot. I just, just uh, loop it around. Nice. Stealth. Okay, Terraclaw's got four in speed, four in... It's got to hold back a lot more than the PS2 version. In PS2 version, I can just glide around. That's how simplistic it is in the PS2 version. And I have no jump. It's weird because, like, I have a three in jump. So I should be jumping higher than that. Which makes me believe that this arena does have a lot of friction. I also believe that this arena was developed last, but I'm going to get to that soon enough. So, yeah, her Terror Claw, four in speed, four in defense, four in acceleration, four in endurance, and a four in jump. Fours all around. 330 G power as well. Finally, her Garganoid, two in speed, four in defense, five in acceleration, three in endurance, and four in jump, 310 G power. Her ability cards, we already know she has Dark Void. She also has Grand Impact, Dark Circumference, Rising Blow is her gate card. Earth and Mound has another gate card. The final, final one, Hammer Door. Alright. I mean, it looks more like a pickaxe, if you ask me, but. Eh, that's even. Ability card! Activities, Turn of Fortune, and Hammer Gorum. Oh! 393. Sweet. So, yeah, that's gonna give her 400. Yeah. So, the Guardian Bakugan boosters are definitely stronger. And she did not use Dark Void. I appreciate that. Alright, sticks. Yeah, nice we finally get a battle against the. Uh, oh, no, no, I just saw the stick icon for LNS and I got a little confused. Or if we want to be specific, listen. Oh god, how would you do that rapidly? Listen, 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 listen. That's. Yes, I won. Player one's turn. All right. There's only two gate cards left on the field. I'll take a chance and stand on her card. In worst case scenario. Is Rising Blow the uh, one where if you stand on it first, you get a bonus? I can't recall. If so, that would be nice. Oh yeah, I did almost miss that portal one time. Well, not the portal, but the launcher. So, yeah. Um, and anyhow, I do personally believe that this arena was, like, developed last. Simply because of how much jank is going on in it. I'm not talking about the friction or anything. I think that's perfectly normal. And, like, that was probably the intended, like, challenge for this arena is that you have to roll with so much friction that it kind of becomes difficult to roll. However, I think it ended up becoming a bit too much because 
And first of all, you've noticed how... I can assume you've noticed how every arena we've fought on had some form of, like, on-rails section. For instance, if you look at the Pyrus Arena, you had the pipes. Or the Aquas Arena. Well, that actually kind of had two, if you want to think about it that way. Because it did go from, like, the water slide on the one side, where you get shot up out of the geyser to get on there. Or you also have, I believe, you go out onto the stone path and jump into the launcher to get sent into the second half of the slide that actually shoots you back out onto the arena from, like, a nice square ledge. In Ventus, you have the tornadoes, and in Subterra... Shoot, Subterra. Yeah, honestly, I cannot think... I don't think Subterra had a on-rail section. I mean, it had a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Subterra was definitely there. And, like, I feel like that was in... in the beginning. I guess I can just end this battle real quick. But... Yeah, it was just, uh... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like, I could go further on about this That's my skills later. Talk. Ah, I should finish this up now. But, basically, this arena doesn't really appear at all in the, like, if you wait on the title screen, there's a second cutscene that plays of, like, the brawlers rolling their back gun around on the different arenas, and uh, pretty much they're usually just rolling around on the arena of their type. Runo, however, doesn't roll on the Chaos Arena. She's rolling on the regular battle arena, I'm pretty sure. So, there's that, and then there's also, like, you could chalk it up to them not wanting to spoil this arena existing, but they do show the actual, like, battle portion of the arena, just not the arena itself. It's almost time so I'm the thinking game. that by the time I, I like, this was conference. done really late in development, which is why the AI doesn't work too well, and probably also why they kept in the flashes, because they didn't really get a good chance to play test it, they just... Uh, I feel like the same thing goes for Confusion, honestly. There was just not enough playtesting behind those concepts to be like, Hey, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't have this in the game. But they put confusion in anyways. They they could have put it in the PS2 version, so they put it in the Xbox version and the Wii version and the PS3 version probably. Yeah, I think we're gonna end it off here. So next time on Bakugan Battle Brawlers, we're going right, up to against Runo. See you guys then. Oh, and before I see you guys then, I do want to mention that I'm probably going to open up the episode next time with, like, showing off the intros for the, uh, brawlers that got their background evolved, and I'm just going to find them off screen, okay? See you guys then.